Welcome, welcome to our Go Live Masterclass. My name is Rochelle Beachy, and I'm excited to share with you guys some tips and tricks on how to rock it out live. So go ahead, quickly go ahead and spread the love. Make sure if this is your first time using uh, StreamYard that you go and, you know, follow the little link and all and uh, make sure that you, um, yeah, take care of that. So anyway, super excited to have you guys here. This is my first time. This is out of my comfort zone because I'm not very techie. So if I can do this kind of stuff, uh, you guys could do it too, okay? So please tell me if you guys can see me and all. Uh, I do see um, it looks like it's working, so I'm excited. So welcome, welcome to the party. And um, let me know one thing that you would love to learn from this masterclass. So a little bit about my story, y'all. I joined paparazzi a little bit over seven years ago, okay? I started with a dream. I wanted to make a 1000 and 2000 bucks a month. And now I am a multiple figure, six figure bling boss, you guys. And so I'm a country girl who doesn't like techie stuff. So if I could do this, you could do this too, okay? So I want you guys to understand that my chapter is like, you know, I've been doing this for years, right? So don't compare your journey with mine. Don't compare your journey with anybody else's. I want you to just own your journey, right? I want you to own your awesome, and I want you to walk confidently, okay, and rock this out, even if you're scared skinny, right, okay? I was even nervous doing this, you guys. This is out of my comfort zone because, yeah, it just is. So it's okay. We're still learning, and we're going to grow together, right? Okay, boom shakalaka. So what I want you guys to understand as well one of the biggest things is your mindset, okay? Your success seriously starts up here, okay? Um, it's, 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 these, these are gonna be awesome tools, awesome tricks and tips and tricks to help you guys rock this out and make the money, honey, okay? Uh, but seriously, what you sow in one season, you're gonna reap in the next. So when you consistently show up in your business, you are going to grow, okay? I have been watching a bunch of you guys lately uh, rocking it out, going live like crazy. And I just want you to know that I'm so proud of you. I know for some of you guys, it's way outside of your comfort zone. For some of you, it's just natural, right? And you love what you do. And that's awesome. Um, when I first started going live, uh, I officially started going live selling jewelry in 2017, where I was consistent. I showed up at least twice a week and it just started really, really exploding. Our team exploded like crazy in 2017 and you guys i am feeling the same momentum that we had back then or even bigger it's insane right now okay so i dare you guys to step outside your comfort zone and take it to the next level so um the biggest thing as well with mindset that i want you guys to understand quit overthinking it okay quit overthinking it the more that you practice in your business the better you're going to be okay so with anything in life the more that you're willing to practice, the better you're, you're gonna be, right? Whether you're playing a sport, whether you're practicing driving, whatever it is, right? Maybe you're learning um, an art class. The more that you practice, generally, the better you're gonna be, right? Okay, so are you guys excited? Are you guys ready? Um, okay, so before we jump into the slideshow here, I wanna give you guys a few extra bonus tips, okay? So I was chatting with one of my new girls today and uh, this is one thing that I want you guys to understand is that your friends matter, okay? So when you're selling in person, let's say you are having a home party or doing an event, right? Um, those are crazy powerful, but it is so different when you're selling on Facebook. So you've got to learn the Facebook rules, right? And Facebook has its own rules, and this is social media. So if you have just been doing the aimless scroll on Facebook, you know, grabbing your phone, aimlessly scrolling, um, you've got to relearn things, okay? You've got to start using this as a tool and not just as entertainment, right? Okay, um, so your friends matter. What you do on social media matters. And so, um, you know, if you have 200 friends and you one of your other friends uh, who is selling jewelry has 1,200 friends, guess what? Who's gonna sell more jewelry generally, okay? The one with the most friends, right? And so when I first started this business, you guys, I just had a few hundred friends on Facebook. I have built my business up to, you know, a multiple six figure a year uh, business and you could do this too, okay? So your friends matter. So start building your friends list 
and start being social on social media. What does that mean? Okay, I'm not going to get into all this. We're going to keep this basic. But basically, um, if you're not commenting on um, your friend's post, if you're not messaging them, they're not going to see when you go live. Okay, so when you hit that live button, automatically everybody in the universe is not going to see you. Okay, uh, I hate to break it to you, but not everybody sees you. Okay, it might feel like it, right? Uh, but not everybody's going to see you. Okay. So you have, there's a lot of preparation that has to happen before you go live to have a very successful sale, okay? And the more that you do this, the easier it's gonna become. So grab a pen and paper, or maybe you have a separate device, right? Make sure to share this with your friends. Make sure to share this with your team. Uh, tag people in the comments and all that, okay? Um, another bonus tip before we jump in here, y'all, is don't take it so seriously. Just learn, just have fun with it, okay? Rock out this beautiful bling. You know, worst case scenario, you you're you're making people happy, right? You are making other people feel beautiful on a budget. You got to understand that we're not here to just sell jewelry. If you're here to just sell jewelry, it's probably not going to go as well for you. But if you're here to build relationships, I guarantee you that your business is going to be a lot more successful. Okay. So who's ready to jump in and dive into the basics here you guys, okay? Um so Jen says I've been joining groups and making new friends finally Popping out of your shell. Awesome. So this is going to definitely take getting outside of your comfort zone. Okay. Sometimes we think cuddling up to our comfort zone is awesome and that's the best way to do it. I'm here to tell you guys there's freedom when you let go of that comfort zone and you keep on taking one step after the other in the direction of your dreams because you deserve it, your family deserves it, and your future legacy deserves it. Okay. So we are going to just jump right in here, okay, with our master class. So um, up next here is, let's see if I can do this. Okay, boom shakalaka. Very, very important tip, you guys. I am going to really encourage you guys to start with your warm market, okay? Your warm market on Facebook is going to be your timeline. You're like, what is my timeline? Your timeline is your nor normal news feed that you're going to scroll through, right, on Facebook and things like that, right? Okay, okay. And so when you're just scrolling on Facebook and you're seeing your friends post, that is your timeline, okay? When you go live, I dare you to go live on your timeline because what's going to happen, you guys, is approximately 10% of your friends are going to probably see your live show on your timeline. Now, if you're going live on a business page, only 1% to 2% of your the likes and follow followers are going to actually see when you go live. So let's say you have 200 friends on your timeline, right? You start a business page and you have 50 likes over there. Okay, do the math. Which one is going to be the best one? Which one is it going to be that you're going to have the most viewers? Okay, I'm just here to tell you guys, it's your timeline. Okay, so very, very important. You need to make sure that your posts are public, right? And when you get started, okay, make sure it says the public right up there before you go live, right? Make sure that your settings on Facebook are public. Make sure that um, people can comment publicly on your post as well, okay? Now, here's the deal. Even if your timeline is public, um, the good news is you can actually change it up. So let's say I'm posting something about my daughter, okay? I will probably post that friends only, okay? So you can change it. Um, just before you go live, right? Um, in your settings there, just before you go live with the three little dots um, before you start your live video. Okay, so make sure your post is public. Make sure um, your comments are public and all that, okay? And make sure to add a catchy title. You could even add in there paparazzi live show. Um, try not to add any extra links in there especially if you're just starting out because Facebook doesn't like extra links in the title of your description usually, okay? Now, once you build it up and all that, it may change, okay? But when you're just starting out, keep it short, keep it simple. Try not try to keep the word uh, sold or the word $5 or whatever out of there. Uh, make it not sound as salesy, right? Uh, but when people are actually searching on Facebook, some people are searching for paparazzi live shows, right? Your show could totally come up and you could be the next show that they pop on, right? Okay, so make sure to add a little catchy little title. It could be like, oh my lands, check out what I just got in, right? That sort of thing. Okay, so um, before you go live, that's very, very important. Next thing is, you guys, before going live, make sure, okay, this is a big, big, big tip, y'all, okay? Make sure your jewelry is out of the package, okay? 
let's say I have a piece of jewelry here, and do you guys hear all of that? Does that sort of get on your nerves? Okay, it gets on some of your customers' nerves. I just I'm gonna tell you guys that um, because it's just better when you have it outside the package. Okay, you need to be prepared ahead of time. Okay, now. This is so much better, right? You can have a set or whatever put together. Like that's my next tip, right? Have sets together. And um, what you need to do then is um, show them together, right? And be like, E161, have the number ready there. And boom, boom, shakalaka, go with it, okay? So make sure your jewelry is out of the package, very important. And try to put sets together as well, as much as possible, you guys, because what's gonna happen is you're going to upsell and you're gonna give your customers a lot more um, you know, a lot more variety, okay? Um, make sure before you go live, y'all, that you are wearing multiple pieces of jewelry, okay? I cannot stress this enough. I see people going live and they're not wearing jewelry, okay? So I'm, I'm gonna dare you guys to make sure you're the best showcase for this jewelry, you guys, okay? It's much better than having a neck bust. A neck bust is awesome, right? To show off the necklaces and things like that. But make sure that um, you have that you're wearing the jewelry, okay? Be a product of the product. Because if you're not wearing the jewelry, they're like, uh, is this stuff even any good? Like, uh, she says she acts like she likes it, but I'm not sure about it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so the next thing is have good lighting, okay? You can get a really cheap ring light. Here is a link right here to one. Um, if you want it, I will try to post some more info in the group as well. Uh, but have good lighting. Make sure that you at least have a small ring light. Um, you can get ring lights that actually have a tripod with them as well. So make sure that you uh, have good lighting and you could use daytime bulbs as well. You know, if you have any lights up above you in the ceiling and that sort of thing, make sure that you have some daytime bulbs. Maybe you have a, a lamp that you're using. Use daytime bulbs, okay? LED lights are great as well, okay? Lighting is very important. Next thing is, you guys, this is huge, huge, huge. I see so many people making this mistake, okay? Make sure when you are going live that your angle is proper, okay? When you have your angle, and I'm trying to make sure that you guys can see this. This is a struggle. But anyway, make sure that you guys have it up and above right here, you know, and that you have it ready, um, the angle better, okay? If you have it down below, they're going to see your, your chin, maybe your boobs or whatever, right? That angle, you want to have it where it's it's flattering, it's more, it's slimming, it's... Um, you're gonna see your face, your beautiful face, and um, the jewelry and all that. It's just much better, okay? Have have a great camera angle, and you can practice with it. Ask people what they think as well. Make sure your background is clean, okay? Don't have it cluttered, full of, you know, laundry in the background or uh, all kinds of food littering the background or whatever, okay? The whole room can be a total disaster, but at least right behind you have it as clean as possible. And whether you have jewelry behind you, whether you have a cute little backdrop, it's totally up to you. Um, do you, boo? But um, seriously, make sure that your background is clean, okay? So next, y'all, when you jump on, okay, make sure that you're looking at your camera, okay? Here's the deal. This is a big mistake that I see so many people doing. They jump on and they're just like waiting. Okay, who's gonna show up? Waiting. Or maybe they're inviting people, right? And they're hitting that invite button and they're going like, and the phone is like vibrating. Have you guys ever been on something like that? Where the phone is like vibrating because they're trying to invite all their friends? Here's the deal. You need to have some sort of system where you let your people know ahead of time, okay? Uh, the biggest thing is having a schedule, right? If you have a schedule and people know when to expect you, um, that's going to help you a ton because that's going to help build that consistency because when you open up your business on Facebook, um, you need to be uh, consistent with it, okay? You got to show up to go up, okay? People need to know how to find you because guess what? Just because you're going live on Facebook, a lot of your friends don't even know when you're going live, just saying, especially if you're not consistent, okay? So have a way to share that somewhere where people are going to see it. Now, if you're going live on your timeline and you're just sharing it to your business page, a lot of the people are probably not going to see it, okay? Maybe if you start a watch party, it's going to help boost it. Or you can share it into a messenger chat. Let's say you have a messenger VIP chat or whatever it is, right, with some of your best customers. You can share it right into there. You could share it uh, through text message, right, if you have a text message alert, something like that. You know, have some sort of a system that you can alert people, okay? When you get on the camera, you guys, you got to hop on there with energy. You might be exhausted. 
Y'all, I'm exhausted a lot of times before I hop on there, but guess what? You are going to give your 1,000%, right? And so you may not be as energetic as I am, but that's totally cool. Add the extra to your energy, okay? It really makes a huge difference. So just introduce yourself. Be like, hey, hey, I'm so excited to be with you guys. Happy Tuesday. My name is Rochelle Beachy, and I'm the leader of the Royal Rockstars. I sell cute $5 jewelry. This is paparazzi accessories. We have Z pieces. We have kids pieces. Um, you know, I, I, you know, if you're brand new, drop new in the comments. Uh, shipping is $5 unless you're brand new. It's free. If you buy five or more, you're going to get free shipping from me. You know, whatever your little spiel is. Okay. Mine sort of changes with time, but basically give your little spiel, right? About what you're doing. And uh, make sure that they know what to do. Make sure that they know to like, comment, and spread the love. I'm so excited. We are going to, once I get to 20 viewers today, y'all, I cannot wait. I'm going to be giving away some free bling. Uh, make sure your friends and family know about this. Just jump right in there and start telling them right away. Because guess what? You're going to have a ton of people that watch the replay. You might not think so, but as you build your business, you're going to have a lot of replay viewers, okay? So make sure that you just jump right in there because otherwise, they're going to hop on your video and they're going to be like, oh, this is boring. This girl's just waiting for people to hop on. Just waiting, 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 waiting. Okay. And money is not going to magically fall into your lap. The longer that you wait doesn't mean you're going to have more viewers. You're probably going to lose viewers. Okay. So just jump in, act like you have a hundred people watching you, have that energy and just have fun with it. Okay. Um, so just tell them how it works. Like I said, okay. Keep it exciting and upbeat, okay? Smile, smile, you guys. It's not gonna hurt you. It's actually really good for your face, okay? It's good for your immune system. Just smile, okay? It might feel weird at first. Guess what? We're all learning together, okay? Um, yes, Charlie, at the very end, you're welcome to ask questions, okay? So give numbers right away. So let's say I'm showing jewelry and I don't normally show it with the actual numbers, right? But if you have numbers to show your jewelry with, okay, I would hold it up right away, okay? Generally what I do first is I show, uh, I give the numbers for what I'm actually wearing, okay? So I would be like, this one is N1 or whatever the number is, right? And oh my goodness, you know, and generally I stack my bracelets because guess what? The more you show, the more you wear, the more you're gonna sell. The more you show, the more you're gonna sell, right? And so I show the pieces first and then I get started, right? And I'm always chit-chatting about life. You want to just you want to just do you. Don't just be like constantly talking about uh bye bye bye, you know, all the details about buying, right? And all the details about the jewelry. Make it fun. Talk about your day, right? For me, let's see what all did I do today, y'all. I don't even remember. <laughs> um it's been a busy day, right? But I might you know, let's say we, we went out and about today or whatever. I would talk about that. Who knows? Just randomly chit chat. Pretend your best friend is right there watching you. Okay. And she has a cup of coffee or a cup of wine or whatever. And y'all are just chilling and chatting, right? Add the energy, but just keep it engaging and upbeat and all that. Okay. So also when people up on, and I'm not going to do it during this masterclass because this is going to be rewatched over and over. Right. But as you're, um, as you have people hopping on, try to do the best that you can with this. Okay. I'm not perfect at this, but just try to acknowledge everyone. So be like, Hey, Tanya, how are you doing, girlfriend? Hey, Shauna. Hey, hey, Charlie. How's it going, girl? Um, maybe you know something that's going on with their life. You could even bring that up. Be like, Hey, how are your grandkids doing? You know, how are you guys doing in the middle of, you know, all the crazy right now or whatever, right? Just be you, be real. Don't try to be real like Rochelle, but be you, okay? Next up, you guys, okay? Set a goal for your viewers, okay? Goals are very important, okay? Whether it's goals for viewers or sales or whatever it is, you need to have goals, okay? Starting out, it's going to be tricky, right? You might only have a few people on. Sometimes you might not even have anyone on. That's okay. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a goal. Um, and as you grow, you're going to keep on growing that goal, right? So maybe to begin with, you're like, okay, I barely had anyone on yesterday. Let's, you know, this time when I go live, if we get to 10 viewers, right? If we get to 10 viewers and you tell your customers, because guess what? They're going to want to help you get to your goal. Because if you do, right, you're going to give away something fun. So be like, oh my word, y'all. We're at seven years right now. Yay! Three more, y'all. Woot woot. 
and I'm going to be giving away some free bling. So go ahead and tag your peeps, share this, you know, spread the love, uh, like, comment, spread the love. I cannot wait. Um, someone is going to be winning these gold just pair of earrings. You know, you don't even have to show the piece, but whatever it is, just get them excited, right? Okay. Um, another really good thing is before you even start your live show, you guys, you got to understand algorithms. So a couple hours ahead of time, post something on your timeline or wherever you're going live, that's going to get them engaged, okay? Because if they're interacting with your post a couple hours ago, they're probably going to see your live show, okay, when you're on, okay? So make sure when you post something, you know, you can post a cute little selfie and be like, happy Tuesday. Which do you guys prefer? Do you prefer uh, chocolate or, or wine? Or do you prefer pizza or um, a hamburger? Whatever it is, right? Or do you prefer necklaces or earrings, right? Ask them a question. You could even do a fun giveaway. Be like, oh my goodness, you know? Uh, I can't wait to give away something free tonight. Just comment on here and um, make sure that you hop on tonight. And, you know, I'm going to give something away to somebody who commented earlier, okay? Uh, so you can have so much fun with that kind of stuff. You've got the key is to boost your viewers, to boost your sales. You have to have interaction, okay? This is social media, okay? Just because you go live doesn't mean everybody's going to see you. You've got to work it, girlfriend, okay, or guy or whoever's tuning in, right? Okay, questions are powerful for interaction and for engagement, okay? Um, so when you're on, you need to have a goal, right? They Just tell them to like, comment, and spread the love. You cannot give away. You cannot give away free jewelry. Like if they buy five, they can't get one free, right? Um, and that sort of thing. You have to be careful that you stick according to the paparazzi rules with compliance. We don't want anyone getting in trouble. Um, you can always do tax-free or free shipping. Let's say if they buy five or 10 or whatever, right? You can do that all the time, but you just can't do like buy five, get one free. But you can do share giveaways, okay? So I dare you guys to do share giveaways, even if it's one piece, okay? Even if it's one piece, what happens when you give free jewelry away, it opens up people's hearts to you as well, right? Because people are going to buy from people who they know, like, and trust, right? Um, so another thing, fun thing to do, you guys, for boosting, you can play games, okay? You can get people to comment their favorite snack. And the 45th comment or something, you're going to pick and somebody's going to win, right? Um, so you can play games, all that kind of stuff. But keep it simple. Don't do too much of that kind of stuff. Uh, make sure that you're definitely showing a lot of jewelry, even if you are playing games. Don't make it just a game thing unless you just want to sit there and just play games. You know what I'm saying? Uh, make sure that you are selling jewelry along the way. But make it fun. Make it interactive. And remember that you want to stop somebody's scroll. So what can you do to stop their scroll, okay? Whether you are um, dressing up or whatever it is, right? What is something that is gonna catch their attention? Remember, it's all about the preparation ahead of time. Make sure you look cute. Make sure you look put together. Um, you don't have to wear a ton of makeup or whatever, but a little bit of makeup never hurt anyone, right? Make sure your hair is put together. You know, you look cute, cute little outfit. Um, you know, put, put on that jewelry, all that kind of stuff, right? Very, very important, okay? Um, make sure, like I said earlier, that it's public and start out on your timeline. Don't hide in a group. Some people can crush it in a group, but on, most times, 99% of the time, I don't recommend going live in a group because guess what? Even if your group is public, people are sharing that out. Guess what? They can't comment on there. Okay. That's actually a pet peeve of mine. I hate to break it to you, but I don't like having to actually join a group to actually have to comment on it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I know people will still do that, right? And some people can crush it. Um, we have some people on the team who are crushing it, going live in groups, and that's awesome. But for the most part, it's going to be a lot better when you go live on your timeline, okay? So next up, you guys, get people commenting, okay? More interaction equals more people seeing your video. Make sure they're commenting as soon as you go live. You're going to give you a little spiel, and then you're going to ask them a question, okay? So... I'm always dying of thirst here. <clears throat> so the more interaction, the more people are commenting on your post, not just a one word, not just a number, okay? Uh, Facebook likes to block that kind of stuff. So I sometimes get them to add an emoji if they're just adding like a letter or if they're adding a, um, a color or whatever it is, right? It's better if they add a sentence to your live show. 
it's going to boost in the algorithm, okay? So one thing you can do right as they're jumping on, just ask them, okay, just ask them, hey, so what are you guys up to tonight? Just tell me what you're up to and add like a boss, you know? Or ask where they're watching from. Tell me where you're tuning in from. Love to get to know you guys better, right? Um, you can ask what they're drinking. You know, these are questions, things that you can ask throughout the entire show, right? You don't have to ask the same thing um, the whole time, right? You can ask their favorite style of jewelry. Do you prefer necklaces, earrings, rings, bracelets? Like, what do you guys want to see tonight, right? Um, ask their favorite color. Ask what the weather is like, you know? Uh, drop it in the comments and let me know what is something that you guys do on your live shows to get interaction. Ask what they're celebrating today, you know? So many fun things, you guys. But interaction is so key. The more interaction you have, the more sales you're going to have, right? And also, I'm telling you what, I notice this all the time. If you calm down your energy, I feel like a lot of times you're going to lose viewers, okay? Because energy is so, so key. We're going to talk about that some more. Build relationships, okay? This is the best, best tip ever, okay? You've got to be building relationships. People buy from people they know, like, and trust. How do you make them feel? Do you make them feel like a million bucks? Um, do you make them feel fabulous, right? And thank them for hopping on your show, right? Build those relationships, Figure out what your customers love and mention the pieces, styles that they love. For example, Katie, I know that you love wrap bracelets. Oh, my word, girl, you should see these brand new ones that just came in today, right? Chat about life with people. We talked about that earlier. Don't just be salesy. Bring your personality, right? So don't overthink these things, y'all. These are just a lot of basic tips. The more that you do it, the easier it's going to become, okay? Just be natural with it all, okay? You're, you're going to get better with time, okay? Um, along the way, you guys, you need to always be planting seeds, okay? Remember what I said at the beginning here, y'all. What you sow in one season, you're going to reap in the next, okay? So remember that as people are tuning in, make sure that they know that you're inviting them to join you to do this as well, right? Just keep it easy. Keep it fun. I mean, I drop pieces all the time, and I'm like, look at me. I drop it like it's hot, right? If I can do this, you can do this too, right? I just drop those things throughout my whole live show, okay? Um, talk about what you love about paparazzi, your friendships, the products, the fun, the income. Um, if you talk about the income, of course, you got to always uh, try to add the income disclosure, or you can always add it right after the show, right? Um, if you mention the income, okay. Talk about how easy it is, right? Now, it's not a get rich quick thing, right? So we're not going to give them um, crazy, you know, expectations. It's work, right? But, you know, you can do this. I mean, our team is crushing it in the middle of a pandemic, okay? How crazy awesome is that? So you can also get them to drop, you know, in the comments and let them know if they want more info. You know, just drop drop some hearts in the comments if you want more info or message me. You know, I love to chat with you. I'm not pushy. I'm not going to be weird, you know, whatevs. Uh, but I would just love to help you. I'm just looking to help some people this month. And seriously, I'd love to, for you to make some money doing this. Why not, right? You get to shop and make money. Like, how cool is that? So you're always planting recruiting seeds, okay? I don't know if this is in my master class, but another thing, you guys, is you can ask when when your when your video is at the height of the viewers, okay? Let's say you normally get ten or twenty viewers, okay? Let's say at the beginning it's a little slow, right? And then all of a sudden you're you know the viewers are building and you're at ten or twenty viewers, whatever, okay? Drop in the comments, be like, oh my word, girl, I'm looking to give away a ton of free jewelry this month and i would love to spoil you with some jewelry all you have to do is um you know i can give you more details and all but it's super simple you just uh we just get together with some of your friends here on facebook uh show the jewelry and you get some free bling just for just for introducing your friends to this awesome stuff okay um just drop i'm in okay i, I want free bling or just drop free bling in the comments you know, just keep it simple. Keep it upbeat like that. Make it easy. Make it easy for people, okay? And then, you know, make sure that you're following up with them afterwards. Be like, oh, my word, girl, thank you so much for hopping on my show. I see that you uh, mentioned that you want some free bling. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to spoil you this month. Um, so I have this date and this date. You know, give them two dates, you know, and, and make it maybe a week or so apart from each other, okay? I have next Monday or the following Friday, you know, which works for you, girl. Can't wait to spoil you. Boom shakalaka. Whatever it is, right? And then um, just just build that, okay? Because you got to be offering it. If you're not offering the opportunity to people, okay, they're not going to know that they could actually join you. Probably not. You know, some aren't going to know. 
Um, the next thing is if you're not op offering to do parties and all that, uh, they're not going to know that you even offer that, right? And so make sure that you're offering, offering, offering all the time, okay? Not all the time, but you know what I'm saying. You just like drop these little things throughout your live show, okay? Um, and it's just, it's just seriously powerful. I built my business on hostess parties, you guys, and some of your best hostesses are actually going to join your team, okay? Just saying. So it's almost like they're practicing to join your team and they don't even know it, okay? That's our secret, okay? Um, okay, boom. So a few live videos of video ideas, okay? So marathons are powerful for building your business, okay? If you can go live for 30 days straight, 90 days straight, whatever it is, right? It could totally transform your business, okay? Especially if you're doing it the same time every day, uh, it could be crazy powerful. Um, one of our leaders, she just ranked up last month. Jamie, I'm gonna call you out right now, girl. Her business was, um, it was it was going through you know a slump okay and for the past i think six months she's been going live daily at five o'clock and just showing like five at five or whatever she does i'm not sure what else she's doing by now but her business all of a sudden is starting to boom and flourish like crazy they ranked up last month's executive director and she's pushing for producer this month which is a huge leap right and all of a sudden because she's been showing up guess what last month Two people in the same exact week are like joining her team because she's showing up and all of a sudden in the middle of this pandemic, they're probably like, oh my lands, I need a side hustle. Look here, Jamie's being consistent. Okay, I'm gonna join her team. Boom shakalaka, they joined it. To make a long story short, she ranked up last month. She's pushing for a new rank and there's crazy momentum, okay? It's not gonna happen overnight. Don't expect overnight success. It generally never happens, okay? So marathons are powerful. Even if you're going live seven days straight, let's say you're doing a four hour marathon in one day. Some people have even done 24 hour marathons. Okay. I'm telling you what, when you do that, it boosts your customers like crazy. Okay. Because you're putting yourself out there and you're just, you're going to get a lot of new customers. You're going to just really build your business. You're going to sell more. It's just like this. It's just like this momentum that starts happening when you uh, put so much effort into, into it, okay? So marathons are awesome. I sell a ton as well on Shop the Walls, y'all. Shop the Walls uh, are, are crazy powerful. So if you guys are a part of the Royal Rockstars, you can always uh, search the group and look up like speed sales, Shop the Wall, that sort of thing. Um, we have special training that we've done for that. Uh, make sure that you always have sets together. There's so many ways to do it, right? So bless others, do a giveaway, constantly be doing giveaways, okay? I dare you guys to do at least one giveaway per every live show, um, or let's say you're going live five days a week, you could always tell them for every time that they share, um, you know, every, maybe, let's say every 10 shares or every 20 shares, you're gonna put a free piece into a box and somebody's gonna win like the bling lottery over here. You know, you don't have to purchase to win. They All they have to do is like, comment, and spread the love. And seriously, it could boost your business like crazy. There's so many fun things you could do that, okay? Um, okay, trying a new product, okay? That's that's a good idea. You can you can do that if it's on your timeline, okay? Um, so for me, I was I, I went live, I was showing off my nails. Okay, now I do not sell Color Street. You are not allowed to sell anything else on the same place that you sell paparazzi, okay? So I don't sell it. I was just showing it off, right? So you could show something that you just got in. You could go live, um, you know, maybe cooking something, okay? You could go live giving people tips on something as well, okay? That kind of stuff could totally boost your viewers as well. Um, another fun idea is behind the scenes, okay? I did a behind the scenes and it exploded like crazy. So many people were on there and I basically showed them uh, my commute, right? My commute from the, <laughs> from my coffee pot in the house out the door, down the steps, out here across the yard to the boutique, right? Okay. And then, I mean, in so many kind of ways, I can I can, I can, can talk about the business without being salesy and weird, right? Plus, you train people on stuff. So I did a fun behind the scenes there, okay? Um, you could do a, a share a favorite recipe, right? Share good news. Ask them to share something good that's happened in their life, right? You can, um, here's another live video idea. Um, you could just get on just to chat, right? You can get on to share some words of encouragement during this pandemic, y'all. I've been doing happy hour chats, and some of those are just encouraging chats, right? 
Um, you can get on and share your why, right? So many fun things. So remember to share your why, y'all. It's very, very important. You need to share your story with people. You need to talk about how it's benefited your life, okay? Because people are not going to want to join something unless they know how it's going to benefit them usually, okay? Think about a job. You know, you probably, uh, you know, have been working your nine-to-five job because of the pay, right? But also because of the extra benefits on top of that, okay? So make sure that you're sharing that with people. So let them know why you're a consultant. It helps them connect with you and see that why they would join, right? Um, remember how to share how you invoice, your shipping rates, all that, uh, so that they know when to expect things, all that lovely stuff. So I talked about this earlier, but just some bonus tips for you guys. Uh, post a sneak peek or ask a question a few hours ahead of time to help boost it so more people see your stuff. Seriously, y'all, this is powerful for your business, okay? Um, you also have to be careful that you're not posting on your timeline too much, okay? You you should not be posting any more than every 90 minutes to maybe two hours, okay? So if you're posting every 30 minutes, people aren't going to see your stuff. It's like Facebook is going to, like, hide your stuff, basically, okay? So the more that you're messaging people, the more that you're going and commenting on your stuff on their stuff, it shows that you're being social. And so Facebook is going to show your stuff to the people that you're chatting with. So if you're not chatting with those people, they're probably not going to see your stuff. Okay. So change it up. Keep it fresh and exciting. Think about what pulls you into a live video, right? What stops your scroll? Think about that. Drop that in the comments, y'all. Um, keep learning. And seriously, it's just, it's all about practice makes perfect, you guys. Okay. You have to show up as a legit business every single day. Okay and the momentum will build. You know, a bonus tip with your live sales, you guys, is when you're on your live sales, you need to be talking about the next time you're gonna be live, right? You also need to be talking about where they can shop when you're not live, right? You wanna be able to make money 24 seven. So what I dare you guys to do is have an album or either Shopify or something that's set up 24 seven, right? And while you're live, tell them, Hey, girl, you know, I know you might not be able to be on here the whole time, but I'm going to be posting an album right after this. And um, or maybe you already have an album set up. Right. And just be like, hey, you know, just let me know if you need me to tag tag you in that uh, album and we can combine your shipping and all that. Um, just comment, tag me. OK. And make sure that uh, you tag them afterwards. OK. So just little things like that are going to really, really boost your sales and all that. So. Hopefully this has been helpful, you guys. If y'all have any questions, I am here for the questions, y'all. Um, we're going to wrap it up with just a few questions here. Um, let me know what has stood out to you. Let me know, um, you know, what what has been helpful tonight. I would love to know. And I'm excited to be doing some more of these master classes with you in the future. So we're going to wrap this out, you guys. I want you guys to flourish. You know, my word of the year is flourish. And uh, for me to flourish, you guys, I want you guys to flourish, okay? I want you guys to have crazy, successful uh, live shows. I want you guys to sell the jewelry, you know? I want you guys to make that money, not just to buy the jewelry and stick it in a corner somewhere, no. I want you guys to gain confidence, right? I want you guys to grow your influence on Facebook. I want you guys to make more friends. I want you guys to, to think about why you're doing this, right? and the mindset behind it. I want you to grow in your confidence and, and grow in your income, right? And to leave a legacy. Remember, if you're just focused on yourself, um, you're going to be, you're gonna be sabotaged, right? Because you're gonna always be focused on how many viewers and how many people are on here and who's rejecting me or who's not hopping on here, right? So stop focusing on yourself and start focusing on other people and seeing how you can bless and help other people, okay? So let me know in the comments quickly if there's any last minute questions um, because I'm new and don't have much uh, inventory as my orders are still on the way. Okay, so if you have a small audience, if you don't have a lot of jewelry, a bonus tip, y'all, is you can go live and you can turn your camera around and if you have a second device, you can show them what's in the back office right now, what's on the website right now, okay? And you can add it to people's carts right away, okay? Um, you can sell jewelry like that and add it to your cart, right? You're doing the extra work for them. You're providing extra customer service. And guess what? You just, you, you can sell more jewelry like that, okay? 
Do not limit yourself. There is no limit to this business. You guys can pass me up in this business. There is no limit, okay? So believe me when I say that. I'm telling you what, you just have to show up daily. You have to show up and you have to, um, you just have to be excited. Some, some days you're going to be more excited than others. Some days it's going to be easier than others. Some days it's going to be like just flowing. And other days it's just going to be like, oh, what's going on here? But you're just going to show up. You're going to focus on blessing the people and all of that. Talk a lot about life and sell what you have. Yes, Sean, I love it. How do you do your invoicing? I use the paparazzi receipt books, but it's becoming too cumbersome. Okay, so we use, I used to use PayPal, okay? So I recommend either PayPal or Square. I love PayPal because um, when people, when you use that to do invoicing, then um, it automatically sends them a tracking number and all of that, okay? So just in case their package gets lost, okay? They're not gonna get you in trouble with paparazzi or anything else, right? Plus you're gonna have proof. You're gonna have the tracking number. Um, so PayPal is awesome for that. Make sure you always have a tracking number however you do it. I ship from home, so I love uh, I love using um, you know something like that to ship an invoice and all that kind of stuff, right? We now use Shopify, so we invoice through that. But there's so many uh, there's so many ways to do it. There's also pirate ship as well. Um, but it's really up to you how you do that. But uh, just figure out a system that works for you. Don't overcomplicate it. But just rock it out and make it work for you and have it as organized as possible. But don't spend all day organizing when you should be going live. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you're just listening to all the videos and you're not implementing, your business is not going to flourish either, okay? So it's sort of like walking, okay? Now you guys, you've watched this video, which is awesome, right? You've taken that one step. Now, if you just keep on and you're not putting the action there, guess what? Uh, it's like you're limping along. You're going to be limping around and, and just going in circles, basically. Okay? But if you watch that live video and then you go out there and you go live and you start implementing some of this, you might not do all of it at once. It's totally cool. Take maybe three things from this that stood out to you and do that the next time you go live. Okay? And just figure out what works for you. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't stress it. Have fun with it. Okay? Smile a lot. Smile a lot. Have fun. You know, uh, just encourage the people. Keep it upbeat and all that, okay? So boom shakalaka. If you guys don't have any last minute questions or anything, um, I just want you to know that I'm proud of you for showing up. Um, this is your Go Live Masterclass 101, and we're going to be doing more masterclasses in the future. So hopefully this has been a blessing. Uh, you can keep sharing this with your teams, and um, let's rock it out. And I dare you to go live. I dare you to get... You know, that good lighting, um, that tripod and all, it doesn't have to cost a lot. It doesn't have to cost a lot, you guys. Um, but just invest in yourself, invest in your business, and invest in your future, you guys. And your future self is going to thank you. I'm just saying. Um, is there a video on shopping the back office? Um, not sure, but I can do it. I know I've gone live sharing tips and tricks on how to stock and all that. Um, I've gone live, a, gone live a marathon 11 days in a row and sold the most you've ever have and played Family Feud. Awesome. How much is StreamYard? You can get a free version, Katie, and then um, there's a couple different packages, okay? So love you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a beautiful night, and we're going to end this for now, but thanks for being awesome. Love you guys, and have a beautiful night. Bye.